My late technician chain is out, so I have a phone here. One of my technicians gave me this phone this morning to repay. So the phone is not turning on. According to him, he told me that uh, he changed the screen yesterday. After changing the screen for the customer, uh, the phone later stopped working. And uh, he brought the phone to me here for repay. So I opened the phone, I checked, I discovered that there's a short. So right here you can see, first thing here is physical damage. Right here you can see the screen flex. You can see that uh, it is not bent correctly. So I have to bend the screen flex correctly. That is number one. Number two, right here is the V bar, the battery terminal is short. There is a short here. So I have to check and know the reason why the thing is shorting and we have to open the short, okay? If you look here, you see that the PCB is still looking new, very fresh. Uh, they have not worked on the PCB before, which is very good. So I'm going to try my best to make sure that this phone works. So with that time wasted, let's get started. Welcome back to my new video. My day technician, check this out. One of my technician brought this phone to me for repair. Check this out, my day technician. The first thing I check for physical damage. Check this out. I disconnect the screen. My day technician, before I start repairing the phone, let me tell you guys the problem of the phone. According to the technician that brought the phone to me, he told me that the phone was still working perfectly when the customer brought the phone. So after changing the screen, the phone stopped working. My day technician, I was shocked. I was surprised. So I have to check the screen connector first to be sure whether the problem is from this screen connector. I check it very well and I discover that it's not from here. The next thing is for me to check the downboard. I check the downboard, I discover that the downboard is fake. My data technician have in mind that fake downboard can stop a working phone from working. It can even spoil the power IC or the CPU of the phone. Anyway, for now, I don't really know whether the CPU of the phone is still working or not, even the power IC. Right here, you can clearly see that the VBAT is shorting, meaning that this is a serious case. You can clearly see that the VBAT is shorting with the ground. Yes, voltage is no more flowing to the PCB. So, first of all, we have to troubleshoot. Have to troubleshoot and know. So I use my DC machine. My DC machine have a short killer. So I use my DC machine to kill the short. I tried killing the short, it was not working. I discovered that there is a particular area on the PCB that is heating up. But the heat is not that much. The heat is around the network area. So I have to detach the cameras and go deeply to check. My day technician is important. Just take your time to do this. My day technician, if you have any question, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. I have to take my time to do this because I want this phone to work for my technician. I want my technician to enjoy. Check this out. My day technician. Please like this video, comment and share. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. My day technician, before I open the network area, I need to first of all open the power IC area. So it's important for you to do so. You may ask Father Joe, why do you want to start with the power IC area? I want to start with the power IC area because I was feeling it in that area too. My day technician, check this out, I will be done. Check this out, I will be done, I will be done, I will be done. My day technician, feel free to ask me any question that you want to ask me in the comment section. Feel free, ask me a question. Check this out, I will be done, I will be done, I will be done. Check this out, be very, very careful. Apply, paste. Check this out. Be very, very careful. Just take your time to do this. Be very, very careful. I'll be done. I'll be done. I'll be done. Check this out, my dear technician. I'll be done. I'll be done. I'll be done.
I'll be done. I'll be done. I'll be done. So it is that you have to be very, very careful. You can see the way I'm doing my own. If this method is not good for you, please oh, don't use this method. Please don't use this method. If this method is not good for you, use a method that is good for you. For me, I'm using a method that is good for me. Okay. So check this out. I successfully removed the shell. Right here, you can see the power IC. You can see the bulk core, the resistors, the capacitors, all the components here. Is exposed. You can clearly see. So the next thing is for me to use my multimeter and start testing the component. I want to see if there is any component shorting or causing the issue. It's important. You can see I turn around to check. By the technician, I start taking readings. It is out. You can see that the VBAT is still shorting. You can see that the VBAT is still shorting. So I start testing capacitors around the power IC area. I check very well to confirm. It's important you check it very, very well to confirm if there's any short. Check this out. I take my time to do this because I really want this phone to work for my technician, for my customer. Check this out. So after checking, I did not see any IC. That is causing the issue. No component shorting. So we have to reflow the power IC. You may ask, Father Joe, why do you reflow the power IC? The main reason why I reflow the power IC is maybe there was a day the phone fell inside water. That could be one of the cause. So it's important you do so. If you don't want to, there's no problem, okay? Just keep troubleshooting. So I reflow, and after reflowing, I clean it very well. Check this out. I will be done. I will be done. I will be done. The next thing is for me to test with meter. So when I test with meter, I discover that the short is no more full short. We have uh, a lot of resistance now compared to how it was before. Before it was a full shot, but now it's now half shot. So I connect to DC machine. You can clearly see that the phone is drawing power. So meaning that there's still a shot. But the technician, so the next thing is for me to remove the network shell. Because the network shell, that network area is heating up. So I have to remove the shell. There's no time to waste. Let me do it fast. If you have any question, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. I think technician troubleshooting is not easy. You have to take time to troubleshoot so that you will know the main issue, the main problem, the exactly thing that caused the issue, and you fix it. Okay, just take your time to do this. So let me remove the shell. Feel free to ask me a question in the comment section. I'll be done, I'll be done, I'll be done. Add a technician, check this out. I'll be done, I'll be done, I'll be done. We are going to know the exactly component that is causing the short. Add a technician, I'll be done. Check this out, be very, very careful when removing shell like this. The heat zinc shell. Be very, very careful when removing shell. Check this out. I will be done. I will be done. I will be done. Check this out. Check this out. I've successfully removed the shell. So, right here, you can clearly see that uh, we have a shot here. It's a physical damage here that clearly shows the shot. So, you can see. I will have a shot here, so I'm cleaning right now. I'm cleaning right now, and I have to remove the capacitor that is shorting. You can see that the capacitor filter, the input voltage that goes straight to the network IC, 
So this is the network IC. Here is the capacitor that is shorting. So I have to perfectly remove the capacitor and replace it, okay? Just take your time to do this, don't rush. I'll be done. You can see I apply flux and I heat up. Check this out, my data technician. I'll be done, I'll be done, I'll be done. Check this out, just take your time to do this. Be very, very careful. So I've successfully removed the capacitor. The next thing is for me to replace it. So I'll replace it at a technician. So this is a new one that I want to put. To this out, so I apply soda paste. So that the soda paste will connect with the capacitor and solder it very well. Check this out. I will be done. I will be done. I will be done. Check this out. Check this out. I'm done. My data initial, you can see. Apply a little flux and then heat up again. Good. I'm done. You can see. I clean it very well. Check this out. Very nice. I love this my technician. I'm done. Now let me check if it's still shorting. You can see that it's not shorting. Let me do it again for you guys to see. You can see that it's not shorting. The shorting is gone. It is out, the shutting is gone. So the next thing is for us to test and see if the phone will power on. If not powering on, we need to check another thing. So let me try to turn on the phone. One, two, ready, and then go. It is out. I tried turning on the phone, but not working. My the technician, the technician that brought this phone started feeling somehow, Fanajo, please try for me. I really want this phone to work so have to try again i try powering on the phone still not working let me show you with my dc machine so right here you can clearly see that the phone is trying to boot the cpu is not responding the problem is actually from the cpu so i was worried and my technician was also worried mm. so the only way is for me to um remove the cpu and then replace the cpu but for now i don't have the cpu so the technician said i should just remove the cpu i was going to find a cpu and then bring for replacement so guys you can clearly see right now i want to remove the cpu since it's not working so i have to remove it and uh wait till my technician bring a uh, new CPU for replacement. So it's going to bring um, the same PCB, if not the same PCB, but uh, the PCB that have the same uh, CPU. So, so when it brings the CPU, I'm going to replace it live here for you guys to see. If you have any question, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. So you can clearly see, I just reflow first to see if it will work. So I try again is not uh, still working my the technician i try to put still stock still stock so it's not still responding so the next thing is for me to remove the cpu so that is it guys if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section my the technician i'm sure i hope this video have helped you today now you know how to troubleshoot now you know how to follow up when phone is shutting. Now you know how to uh, understand the booting sequence. Because when you understand the boot sequence of phones, you'll be able to know whether the price is a problem, the CPU, the eMMC, the RAM. You'll know all the components that is working or not working. 
so that you know how to fix it okay if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section right here you can see i want to remove the cpu if you check this cpu have a uv gum on that so you have to be very very careful make sure that you take your time to do this here we go you can see i'm in setting i'm in setting my tools i want to remove the cpu you can see for this one you don't have to wait if you wait for this one you're going to spoil the cpu so my dear technician when once you hit the cpu to that level of removal please try as much as you can to remove it okay don't wait because if you wait the uv gum will not allow the cpu to be removed easily so you have to insert your tools and take it off okay so this out you can clearly see that i want to remove this here we go check this out check this out i'm in setting i'm in setting i'm in setting here we go here we go my technician boom guys oh my god i love this work my dear technician this is perfect no damage i mean no damage no issues clean my dear technician clean work you can see clean work check this out if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section my dear technician so i perfectly removed the cpu so now i'm waiting for my technician to go back and then get me the the board okay get me the board that i can get the exactly same cpu or the cpu itself so i'm waiting for him um i don't know when he's coming back to give me the cpu might be today or tomorrow but when once the cpu come i will update you guys about the phone okay if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section so let me clean this up make sure just take your time to clean this up okay take your time to clean this up do not rush okay you can see the way i'm doing my own just take time to do it you'll be done you'll be done you'll be done you can see i will be done i will be done i will be done all right <laughs> technician i'll be done i'll be done i'll be done so when once you're done okay just clean clean all those uh, black paste clean it very well just take your time to do it and once you clean it your work will be very very nice okay so don't think much okay if you want to learn this please come for my physical training come to my shop and learn okay i don't have online training take notes i don't have online training come to my shop let me show you this thing physical I want you to do this in practical okay come and learn come and learn physical training so that you'll be able to do all of these things there are so many things that you can do online okay you need physical training so come and learn so that you'll be able to do a whole lot my destination i'm done so let me just brush and then wait for the guy to come and that's it my destination you can see Make sure you clean your work very, very well. You can see I'm cleaning. You know, you can clearly see that there are some places that uh, I did not uh, disorder very well. So I have to disorder it again. I'll put my flux and then disorder it again. Check this out. My technician, that's it. You can see no ripped up parts. All the parts are still intact. Nothing's wrong. And that is it. Guys, see you in my next video. Please, when the IC arrive, I will update you guys. Thank you. I love you all. And bye for now. Thank you for watching.